the life on the X-Files TV show couldn't be more fitting this week given new revelations of possible UFO sightings. A recent report by the New York Times unveiled the existence of a real-life X-Files department. It's a five-year secret government program to investigate mysterious flying objects and especially focused on encounters by members of the military like this one. Oh my gosh! We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. We're going to talk about that in a second. The man who ran that secret program now says the existence of UFOs have been proved beyond reasonable doubt. He joins me now, Luis Elizondo. Uh, thank you. Program initially to identify and try to figure out um, some of these uh, phenomena uh, that were that were flying around our military aircraft and our locations, and basically try to collect enough data where we could make some positive analysis and identify what these things were. The things that have been reported are that it was $22 million spent over a few years. It was people like you who had other jobs in the military, but sort of came together to try and, and figure these things out, and that there were uh, facilities that were leased and built uh, to hold things that were found. Uh, what can you tell me? What can you tell me about what this program did? Sure. Um, well, first and foremost, um, just so your, your, your viewers are, understand, um, I still hold a, a security clearance. Sure. So there are certain things I, I unfortunately will not be able to talk Understood. about. Uh, and because I'm, I'm no longer employed with the U.S. government, I've, you're going to have to bring up some of these questions with the U.S. government directly. But I can tell you from our perspective, uh, since 2008, we collected uh, a lot of information. Frankly, it wasn't just eyewitness testimony. It also included signature data from radar. Uh, video as well. It also included um, other eyewitness testimony from radar operators that were on scene, uh, air traffic controllers. And so basically we put all this information together to try to identify if we could a signature, basically something that gave us a common picture of what we were looking. It didn't match any signature of an aircraft or a drone or a missile or anything else from a, from a DOD or Department of Defense perspective that we would normally be looking for. I want to ask my control room to put that video up again of the F-18s uh, off of San Diego that had uh, intercepted something that uh, they say looked like a, a Tic Tac, a big flying Tic Tac. Part of what you learned is that there were things out there, and there's no, sometimes there's no logical explanation, but that, that, that had great velocity. They, they operated at great speed, unusual shapes, no obvious method of propulsion, no obvi obvious uh, method for lift, even though things would just hover there as if they were a helicopter. Now, it doesn't mean it's alien, but it means that it's unexplained, right? Uh, yes, that's, that's correct. Uh, what it simply means is that we don't know what it is. It doesn't match any profile uh, of any known aircraft that we have and, and we think that others might have as well. So uh, the bottom line is we, we don't really know what it is, but it is maneuvering and operating in, in a fashion that really is very uncharacteristic of anything that, that we have seen flying before. What keeps you up at night? What, what did you leave thinking the most about? What's the, what's the thing that you, you, what's the question, the big unanswered question that you have? I think the one thing that kept me up at night was the inability for me to be able to inform my boss, uh, the secretary, of some of the specific findings that we were coming across. Um, I think our, our secretary, Secretary Mattis, is, is an amazing human being. Uh, frankly, if you ask me, he's, he's a hero, national hero. And I've served some time with him before uh, in, in, some, in, in combat theater. So uh, I know the kind of man he is. And I think he is a man who rather have more information, mm -hmm. not less. And the bureaucracy in the Department of Defense really limited our ability to, to keep leadership informed of what we were seeing. You're a military man. You didn't go into this with uh, preconceived notions. Do you believe that aliens have uh, been to Earth or that some of these things we've seen are are, are non-Earth, you know, they're aliens. Well, for precisely that reason, uh, we, we tried to keep all speculation out of out of the calculus of what we were looking at. Um, the, the two principal things that we were, were trying to identify is one, what is it? And two, how does it work? 
Uh, and then hopefully by answering those questions, we would be able to ascertain later on or perhaps you know, smarter folks than us determine uh, who's behind the wheel and, and what their intentions might or might not be. Um, I read but, I read one article where it said it's as if you gave uh, it's it's as if somebody were to give uh, Leonardo da Vinci a, a garage remote door opener uh, right. and he'd have to reverse engineer what is this plastic what does it do he wouldn't know anything about it but he, you'd, you'd have to figure it out from what you had Th that's correct but I'll I'll tell you too I think in the in the the defense of the program we actually have some very interesting, I believe, and uh, some very nuanced observations that are now for the first time in allowing us to have a better collective understanding of just how it works. Um, so the big question of what it is, well, we're not quite there yet, but right. I think we're a lot closer now to how it works, some of the advanced physics, uh, than we were just even two years ago. Um, I think we have some, some very interesting conclusions where before maybe we were trying to identify five separate exotic technologies. Right. To explain what we were doing, um, I think we've come to the point now where we, we begin to realize it's really all a manifestation of, of p potentially a single technology. Wow. All right, Luis, I, I know you can't tell us everything about it, but there's lots of stuff out there uh, recently that, that I think folks should read. Uh, really fascinating. Thanks for being with us. Luis Elizondo is